Today here at the Offshore Day, uh, we had a good debate about the role of uh, storage under the North Sea uh, and whether we should store hydrogen or we should store CO2 and whether they are competing. Uh, and luckily the crowd agreed uh, with us that uh, they should not compete and they do not compete. Both are important for the future. Uh, CO2 storage is, is more commonly known already and also in the European interest, but also hydrogen storage was recognized as an important factor to decouple the wind uh, uh, um, energy production and the consumption and whether they develop um, in, in the same pace. So storing hydrogen uh, under the North Sea uh, it's important to take into account when planning the wind search areas. Uh, because once there is a wind farm, you can never access that field again because simply of the, the, the windmills are in the way for a platform. I trust that we find a way towards 2050 to get everything in place in the North Sea. The future rollout of offshore wind in the Netherlands is very important that the demand and supply of renewable electricity is more in balance. That means that we need to invest in further electrification of transport and industry. For the long term, it's very important that we make sure there's balance between ecology and the rollout of offshore winds. That means that we now need to invest in innovation, knowledge and research to make sure that the future rollout will not be limited by ecology. The big game changer will be if we create an offshore system that is closely integrated in the current energy system. For that I see three challenges. One is the supply chain. How can we get all the cables, all the converter stations? The second one is that we need a market concept for these wind farms to connect in a maized net. And the third one is that we have to start driving regulate for a fully integrated offshore system in the energy system of Europe.